In February 2022, we started this program as a way to supplement our oyster shell efforts at Tampa Bay Watch. We wanted to take natural recycled shell from the restaurants as they're using it and put it back out into the water to serve as habitat for the eastern oyster. So the Easter oyster is a critically important species in Tampa Bay. It is a sessile organism, meaning that it stays in one place for the rest of its life. And as it does that, it serves as habitat for a large number of other species. In addition, it serves as a biological natural filter. An adult oyster in the water can filter up to two gallons of water an hour, meaning that they can filter up to 50 gallons of water a day. So if you imagine if you have a healthy oyster reef with thousands of oysters per square meter, we are talking the filtration of millions and millions of gallons of water every day. They serve as a shoreline stabilization organism as well. As they accrete onto each other, forming these large robust reefs, they actually solidify the shoreline, preventing erosion that we see from the wind-driven waves and wake action from vessels passing the shoreline. Neptune Flood Insurance was founded five years ago here in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we've become this really fast growing company and we have about 40 employees locally. But we're really concerned about growing resiliency in communities. And I wanted to take a look at my own community, Tampa Bay, and say, how could we directly help? How could we impact resiliency on our coastlines? So the Oyster Project done by Tampa Bay Watch was a perfect fit with my business of protecting businesses and protecting homeowners from the risk of flooding. What can we do locally to actually make a meaningful difference in resiliency? These oyster balls improve the coastlines, improve resiliency, and have the added benefit of helping clean the bay. So partnering with Island Grill here on Tierra Verde and funded by Neptune Flood, we have been able to recycle just over 30,000 pounds of shell since February of 2022. My restaurants always try to be aware of the footprint that we leave behind. And recycling is a strong part of uh, what we do here. So we're contributing to the program as much as we can. And if people continue to support us, we'll hand more oysters uh, towards uh, Tampa Bay Watch and continue to uh, keep doing good things. Once we pick up the shell from the participating restaurants, we bring it here to our curing pad, where we cure it for three months to make sure there are no organisms or diseases from oysters that are being introduced to our waters. And then we take these shells and we use them for two programs at Tampa Bay Watch, our vertical oyster garden program, where we drill the shells and we string them along a nylon rope that people can hang from their docks to serve as additional habitat for oysters. Second, these shells are used for our living shoreline projects. We take these recycled shells and we shovel them into mesh bags and put them in the water in the intertidal zone as part of our living shorelines to prevent erosion and to serve as habitat for other oysters. Tampa Bay Watch made this very easy for us. They brought the buckets, the five gallon buckets. My staff put them on the oyster shucking line. They picked them up on a regular basis uh, two or three times a week. I just want to thank Tampa Bay Watch for giving us the opportunity to do better things for the planet. If we can directly help to rebuild that population, we can improve the coastline, and that's gonna lower the impact of storms. And that's really important if we wanna have a place where we can live along this beautiful coast. Helping the Bay doesn't have to be a large, big event. It can be as small as you visiting a restaurant that is participating in our oyster shell recycling program. From being a consumer at a restaurant, you are helping restore our bay every day.